From the economic point of view, Ukraine suffered no losses, because the gas extracted at the Boyko Towers was used for the needs of the occupied Crimea. On the 117th day of Russia's full-scale war against Ukraine, the Ukrainian armed forces showed that they would no longer steal our gas. We are talking about the strike on the so-called Boyko rigs, the drilling platforms of Chernomorneftegaz, which were stolen by the Russians in 2014. This is the subject of a story by the Freedom Project. Then, in 2014, Russian special forces simply landed on the platforms from the air. After which the facility looked more like military than an energy facility. And the very unfortunate victims of the strike were the militants who held the captured towers in Ukrainian waters for eight years. The strike on the towers is not the revenge of the AFU, but a clear strategic plan to liberate the Black Sea waters and unblock Ukrainian ports, the story says. Snake Island, located near the towers, to which a couple of weeks a lot of equipment and air defense equipment were brought, was shelled at virtually the same time as the drilling platforms. There will finally be such a piece of land and a lot of Russian broken equipment and killed Russians. And also the Boyko derricks were destroyed, the Moscow and the tugboat Vasily Bech were sunk. In fact, Ukraine has declared that Russian ships are not allowed to enter this area. The Russian military cannot go there because they will be destroyed, military expert Mikhail Samus. From the economic point of view, Ukraine did not suffer any losses because the gas extracted at the Boyko Towers was used for the needs of the occupied Crimea. During the annexation, the Russians extracted or rather stole about 12.5 billion cubic meters of gas here. The destruction of the drilling platforms is a very important move in terms of maritime security, as Ukraine has shown that it can cleanse the sea by military means as well. Earlier it was reported that the armed forces of Ukraine struck the drilling rigs of Chornomorneftegaz, also called Boyko rigs. After that, Russia threatened to retaliate with strikes on the decision-making centers in Kyiv.